Hey everybody, today's video is specifically for those of you out there who are using WordPress and you want to decide which plugins you might want to use for your website. Now I've used a lot of them and if you've looked there are tens of thousands of plugins available both free and premium or paid plugins that are available for you to use for your website and they can add all kinds of power and flexibility to your site but how in the world do you know which ones to use, which ones are worthwhile, which ones aren't? Well. I've been doing this for a while now and I've collected a list of seven plugins that I use and I recommend for just about any website that I make. So I want to share that list with you. Now four of them are free and three of them are paid. So you can take a look at my list and see what you think and I'd love to hear which ones you prefer in the comments below. Tell me which plugins you like. Tell me your experience with the ones that I recommend. I'd love to hear from you. So let me jump into today's list. Mark's top seven plugins for WordPress. All right, these plugins are not in any particular priority order. They're just in the order that it came to me. So you can jump in and use them in whichever order you like. The first one I want to show you is called Simple Page Ordering. And it does exactly what it sounds like. If you've used WordPress at all, you know that when you start creating pages, the pages are shown in the backside in so what feels like a random order. And technically, you can go in and give them a number and then they can display in that order, but it's really a pain to maintain. And each time you add a new one, you gotta make sure that you change that number. It's really just not a great system. This plugin allows you to do what I think WordPress should have built in from the start. And that's just simply dragging your pages in the order that you wanna see them on the backside. It is fantastic and it's free. So it's called Simple Page Ordering. Go and grab that. I think you will love it just as much as I do. The next plugin that I want to recommend to you is WordPress SEO by Yoast. And if you look, you will see that this is the number one SEO plugin out there. And there's a good reason for it. It works really well and it's extremely easy to use. And one of the main things that it has built in that I like a lot is a little system of lights that shows you how well you're doing on a page or a post when it comes to SEO. And it goes from red to yellow to green indicating how well you're doing with various things. It helps you with things like page titles or how often a word is used on a page or meta descriptions or keyword density, alt tags, things like that. And each time you make an improvement on a particular page, the light can move from red to yellow to green. And I find it really easy to use and a lot of my clients find it extremely easy as well. And so because it's easy to use, they're more likely to really spend some time on it. It's kind of fun to see what kind of changes you can make to change those lights to the next one up. And I, I really enjoy seeing clients get all excited when they said, Mark, I got a green. So I recommend WordPress SEO by Yoast. It's free, so you can grab it today. Go check it out as well. The next plugin that I want to tell you about today is going to help you with forms on your website because I think pretty much everybody that makes a website needs a form, whether it's a basic contact form or a user registration form or something of that nature. And this one's called Gravity Forms. Now, Gravity Forms is not free. It costs $39 a year to start, and there are some other levels as well depending on your needs. But I think that $39 is well worth it considering what this plugin brings. There are two basic reasons why I like Gravity Forms more than most of the other ones out there. The number one reason I like it the best is because it's really easy to use. The interface is a drag and drop. So if you want a particular element in your form, you just drag it from one side and drop it into your form. So I find that much easier than some of the other ones out there that use things like short codes. And I just like the drag and drop um, integration better. The other reason is that Gravity Forms can grow with you. For example, it can do things like uh, MailChimp integration or AWeber or uh, FreshBooks, PayPal, all kinds of different integrations. And you can also buy additional add-ons if you need some advanced uh, features for Gravity Forms. So I prefer it over pretty much every, all the other ones out there. So go check it out and let me know what you think. 
Now, if you've had a website for more than about five minutes, you know that you tend to get spam coming through your contact form on your website. So we all need some type of plugin that helps protect us from spam. Now, there's a lot of plugins out there that do a really good job, but my personal favorite is called Clean Talk. And it is not free, but it's really inexpensive. It's just $8 a year for a single site. And I think that's a great deal. The reason I like it, honestly, is because it just does its job in the background and I don't have to think about it anymore. It doesn't require any captcha or any kind of strange codes or choosing pictures. It just works and it does its job quietly. You can access different um, reports when you log into your account if you wanna see how many different things that it's blocked. But again, my favorite reason why I choose Clean Talk is because it just does its thing and I don't have to think about it. So let me know which one you prefer, but I really like Clean Talk. All right, the last three plugins that I want to tell you about today are related in some way to security. And I'll give you the names right now and then I'll talk about them. The first one is iThemes Security. The next one is called Clef. And then the last one is called Backup Buddy. Now, iThemes Security is a great security plugin that has all kinds of things built in. It's extremely deep and honestly, it can be pretty confusing, but there are a couple things that kind of bubble to the top that make me really like this plugin. Let me tell you about them. The first one is that iThemes Security gives you the ability to move your login page because if you are a WordPress user, you know that it defaults to your login page being yourwebsite.com slash wp-admin or wp-login. Now, every WordPress hacker who wants to do damage to your site knows that that is where they go to log in. So they can just go to that address and sit there and start hammering away at your website to try to get in. So one of the great things or simple things you can do to kind of help uh, strengthen your site against hackers is to move that login page somewhere else. So in this plugin, it allows you to move it to any address you want. For example, it could be yourwebsite.com slash I love bananas or something like that, that only you would know. And moving that makes it harder to hack because they don't know where to go to start trying to get into your site. So that's the first thing I really like about it. Another thing that I like is that it helps protect against brute force attacks where they just send all kinds of attacks at your website in a really short amount of time to try to punch their way in. It's got um, some integration there that will help with that. And then the third thing that I wanna highlight is that it, can, it gives you an option to require all of the other users on your website to have strong passwords because whether you realize it or not, if you've got a great password but your partner or somebody that works with you just uses something simple like password one, two, three or something of that nature, your website has got a giant security hole when it comes to their password. So this plugin requires people to use a great password or they won't be able to register. So I think those are great features. Again, there are a ton of other things that iThemes Security does, but those are some of the things I like a lot. And iThemes Security is free, so I think you should check it out and let me know what you think. Now, the next thing that I wanna tell you about is a, an app called Clef, and I love it. And what Clef is, is Clef works with your smartphone and it replaces your login screen so that when you go to log into your website, instead of putting in your username and password, it displays a pattern on the screen that you then take your Clef app on your phone and you point the camera at the screen and it, proje it projects a pattern on your phone that has to match with the pattern on your screen. And if those two things match, then you can log in. And if they do not match, then you cannot log in. It is fantastic in my opinion. I no longer have to memorize passwords. All I've gotta do is pull up my phone, hit the Clef app, uh, do my password into the Clef app, and then hold it up to the screen. And as soon as it matches that pattern that's moving on the screen, it immediately lets me in. And then what's also cool is it can allow me to set how long I want to be logged in. So for example, I can say log me in for one hour and then if I walk away and forget to log out, it would automatically log me back out. I love Clef and I think you should check it out. So I'm gonna give you the address below so you know where to look and to download it. And I'd love to hear what you think about it because 
I put Clef on every single website that I make now so I don't have to use passwords anymore and it's far more secure. Now the last plugin that I want to tell you about is called Backup Buddy. Now please, oh please, oh please, I'm begging you, have some type of backup solution running for your website because things happen. Servers can crash, crazy things can happen where you just lose your data somehow, or there's some jerk out there that's hacking for no reason other than because he's bored. But you can lose all of your work really easily nowadays for a lot of different reasons. So whether you use Backup Buddy or something else, please have something on there to save yourself in the case of something like that happening. So Backup Buddy is not free. You can get it for starting at $80 for two sites per year. Now, that may sound like a lot, but if you think about how important your data is, I think it's well worth it. And let me tell you a couple of the reasons why I like Backup Buddy. One, the interface is really easy to use. And you can set up uh, what's called remote destinations where Backup Buddy will send on any schedule that you set up. It'll automatically send a backup of your site to uh, somewhere like Dropbox or Google Drive or um, your Amazon uh, server account or a lot of different places. It can even email you a file on any schedule that you choose. And you can have it send it to more than one location at the same time as well. You can set it up to send a backup daily or weekly or monthly. You can have it uh, backup just your database daily. Or you can have it backup your entire website daily, weekly, monthly, whatever. So I find it extremely easy to use. And again, it's one of those things that just runs in the background and gives you security knowing that your site is backed up in the case of something terrible happening. So it's called Backup Buddy. I'd love to hear what you think about it, but that's my choice when it comes to backing things up. Now, I know that there are thousands of other plugins out there that you could choose from. These are just my top seven favorite ones right now. Which ones do you like? Let me know which ones you prefer in the comments below. Or if you have tried out one of these and you like it, let me know about that as well. We'd appreciate it if you'd follow us on Facebook or on Twitter, or you can subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. You can also check out our other videos at pcclassesonline.com. We're going to have quite a few other WordPress videos coming up soon, so keep your eye out for that. Until then, class dismissed.